Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. When I reached out to MFG, I said I wanted to review their product and then continue to test it beyond patch 3.5. I did get a slightly discounted price as part of the arrangement, however my opinion today is based on my own research and experience using them. Welcome to my overview, setup and observations when using MFG crosswind pedals. I'm a space sim player, but my impressions would transfer over nicely to fixed or rotor flight sims. Let's begin with some background. Milan Flight Gear is a Croatian company which produced its first set of pedals in 2012. Like most fantastic products, it was made by Milan, a sim fan and gamer. The prototype changed and evolved through designs and material until they arrived at their first generation of crosswind. My first observation is their reputation throughout the community. The MFG crosswind are something that I felt I needed to review for my subscribers as they have the reputation of being the very best. Since the first time I compared a good and a great joystick, I could easily tell you where the extra cost is. The cost can be broken down into fidelity, rigidity, and enjoyment. Fidelity has to do with the device's capability to detect miniature variations in input. Having more steps from full left to full right means that even the smallest adjustment will be implemented in game. Rigidity is durability and quality, but it also has to do with fidelity that I spoke about earlier. Putting a fantastic sensor on a frail plastic frame introduces flex. Flex takes away from precision and that clouds the input. Your input doesn't make it to game like it was given. And then enjoyment or satisfaction is very easy. Using a quality built machine adds to your enjoyment of the game. Having the input read exactly as you intended also adds to the enjoyment of the game. The pedals themselves are almost made fully of a composite material. Unlike metal, it's warm and comfortable even when wearing socks. It's very light and it's very strong. Parts are CNC cut, edges are soft, the finish reflects light and most important, the choice of material is probably why they operate so silently. The sensors buried very deep inside and very well protected. Nothing flexes and you have options to tune it to suit your needs. Mine came with three different cam profiles which ride on a massive friction free bearing. You can change the cam by releasing two screws which will change how the resistance is returned to you throughout the movement range. The connection is made with an included USB cable which is a standard AB. It should be very easy to source the right length or replace it if this ever gets damaged. The setup is also simple. The pedals themselves can be attached directly to the base with two bolts each. For each you have about 15 degrees of variation for toe in toe out. If you need the pedals wider or in a custom location, bolt the extension piece to the base giving you more options. There's a spring, a threaded rod, an adjustment nut and a rubber cap. Hook the rod into the spring, loop the spring over the cam lever, guide the rod into the holder and then thread the nut. Install the rubber cap so you don't cut yourself. Take up the slack until the cam bearing makes positive contact with the cam and in the future you can fine tune the tension or even replace the cam. Different cams are going to produce a different profile. Some profiles produce an exponential resistance near the edges and others have a more progressive linear feel. It's sure to connect the left and right toe brakes into the control box. Each toe brake also has a range of adjustment. To set the initial angle, release two cap bolts, rotate the assembly into position and then tighten. The default spring tension for the toe brakes was set to my liking. They don't move for normal use, but I imagine if you use them constantly, you might like to reduce the spring tension. This is done by placing the coil end into another one of the slots. The sensors each have 4092 points of data across the range. Mine arrived fully calibrated with the most current firmware and with a warning to never use Windows to calibrate them. Their software is very easy to use and intuitive, allowing for dead zone, center and other standard customizations. So would I buy these? I wasn't ever skeptical about the glowing reviews that I'd watched. It seems that every effort was made to create the most pleasant frictionless action possible. The bearing ensures that the action glides from left to right and although there are many moving parts, Anything that moves is attached to a sealed bearing. The hype for this product is real and I'm looking forward to learning flight again in patch 3.5 armed with what I consider to be the very best consumer available flight pedals. Thanks very much for spending your time with me. 3.5 is fast approaching and I would like to be ready. Thank you to MFG. I have their link in the description. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.